A group of teenagers smashes and burns a Cumberland Park, causing tens of thousands of dollars in damage. Police have now identified the children they believe were involved, and now they're taking action to keep something like this from happening again. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan spoke with city leaders today, and now he's joining us here in the studio. So, Mike, how does all of this factor in? How do you end up with destruction like this? I mean, it took hours, hours of them going through this, and I'm told even from authorities that at one point they took gasoline and poured it down one of the slides and then lit that on fire, and the neighbors are devastated saying this park is constantly being used, certainly not abused. From dusk to dawn, four teenagers turn Lions Park in Cumberland into the single worst night of vandalism we've ever seen here in town. An estimated $20,000 in damages. They set the tennis court net and uh, tennis court itself on fire, uh, lit a slide on fire. Spray painted obscenities on a $20,000, 120-foot mural. Broke off a drinking fountain from the base. Uh, those drinking fountains uh, with the dog water uh, bowls are about $4,500 a piece. Quite the tab for four youngsters still in high school. Scary. Amazing. Darla Gibson lives next to the park. I come out and walk early in the morning. There's people out here as early as 7 30 in the morning taking walks. She welcomes all the foot traffic. To her, the more people she sees, the less riffraff that's been going on. Until this past weekend, that is. Most of them are from our area here. Sergeant Mark Wagner is a detective with Cumberland Police. Over the last few days, we were able to identify all four subjects. We were actually able to interview three of the four today. Um, and start establishing contact with parents. They were able to quickly identify the teens thanks to an abundance of tips and surveillance footage. Actually, one of the parents came today and uh, offered to turn in one of her kids. Ironically, the city was in the process of improving lighting and cameras at the park. Bashed in an electrical panel, which was phase one of our security uh, upgrading. Cumberland Town Manager Ben Lips says phase two was to start next week, but now comes this setback. We're here and at least they're showing some remorse and looking like they want to do something to remedy that. Well, police are talking with the Hancock County Prosecutor's Office regarding any potential charges. CPD believes the teens could face charges of criminal mischief and possibly arson. In the studio, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Okay, Mike, thank you.